I want to make the most extraordinary Christmas feast ever eaten. Because I've discovered the feasts of Christmas past were far more exciting, spectacular and indulgent than our modern Christmas dinner, especially those eaten by kings. Christmas is one of my favourite times of the year. I love the sights, sounds and smells of the festive period, but I can't stand the traditional Christmas dinner. You've got boring brandy butter, dreary Brussels sprouts, dry overcooked turkey. So I want to create the ultimate Christmas dinner. I've invited six guests for my unique feast of Christmas past. They've no idea what culinary luxuries lie in wait for them. If there's one carol that reminds me of Christmas more than any other, it is Good King Wenceslas's. I love food that tells a story, and food through that story that can fire up my guests' imagination. So for this dish, I've decided to create a truly magical, edible Christmas wonderland. This hearty tale of wintry cheer has inspired me to create a special snowy dish which will take my guests back to their childhood Christmases. I've got an idea about making edible flavoured snow. The theme for this dessert is the classic Christmas carol. Good King Wenceslas's. Obviously, you can't have a Christmas dessert, a Christmas scene, without the snow. Pine and jasmine will delicately flavour my crunchy snow. In here, I have a mixture, syrup, a jasmine tea, and that gives just a very aromatic characteristic. I've frozen the syrup and put it in a packer jet machine. When I press that, what's happening is the blade spinning incredibly quickly, shaving off the surface into really tiny crystals. So that's moosed up nicely, but obviously it doesn't look like snow. Not yet. Next, good old trusty vat of liquid nitrogen. I'm using my old friend to refreeze the mousse before I break it up a second time. It needs blitzing, and the nitrogen is just keeping it super cold. Last step, I need to let it snow. I just think for so many people, the perfect Christmas is a white Christmas. I'm also adding edible tinsel and sage and onion caramels. And that's because King Wenceslas, has, when he went to give his gifts to the poor people, they lived in a very mountainous area. And there's one final wintry addition I can't resist. Wouldn't be complete without some snowballs. So these are white chocolate casings, cranberry puree, Finish with a dusting of edible silver. And there is my white chocolate Christmas snowball. Oh, <laughs> oh look, look, it's all about the theatre. Holy Christ. Oh, Howling Gale. Oh, Howling Gale. Oh, oh, it's getting ever so chilly. Oh, the Christmas oh. Oh. They, sound, they sound pretty amazed, actually. Hey, oh, no. Oh, look, there's a little path here, look, there's a little... Look, little there, look here, the footsteps here. coming yeah, round. And you can Can we eat the eat snow as well? Eat the snow! Can we eat Get the, snow the hell out of here! Oh, Use your spoons. Oh, oh it's you chocolate! Wow. Oh, look! It's Papa Vick's Alaska style <laughs> Look, look! Oh, my God! Oh, wow! Mm. Oh, 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 that'll do for me. Oh, oh my God! God. This, this is what Christmas is all about. It's, uh and taken back to childhood again in a really fantastic way. Mm. Oh, wow.